So Paul, this episode we're featuring Nyanya Cuisine. Nyanya Cuisine, which is completely different to a lot of the stuff we've featured in this series so far. We have our very own Debbie Teo, who is an expert in both Penang and Malacca Nyanya Cuisine. We're doing a segment with her in Kuala Lumpur itself, but we are visiting Penang and Malacca for other aspects of uh, Nyonya food. So now, we're going to Malacca to see uh, Wen's Chetty and Nyonya restaurant. And then we're going to Penang to Achun where we saw Kapitan chicken curry. And we saw Mazna creating a sambal udang. Yeah, sambal prawn, which can be Nyonya. So uh, have a look at Mazna's segment, see how she does sambal prawn, which is a Nyonya and or Malay dish as well. And finally, last but not least, Debbie Teo is showing us how to make a very unique Nyonya dish that I've never tried before, but you have to watch. To it's find out really it tasty, so don't miss out. Yes, yeah, delicious. <laughs> Hi Debbie, how are Hi. you? Hi Jackie, I'm finally, good. Finally get to be in your kitchen, in the famous like premier Nyonya chef's kitchen herself. So what are you making for us today? I'm making the Nyonya Krabu Bihun. I don't think I've ever tried it, so tell me what's involved. Okay, this is the Penang version okay. of the Krabu Bihun. Okay. Um, it's very simple, you just have sambal blachan, uh, prawns and um, we call it bihun, okay. or is it vermicelli? Vermicelli, okay. Yeah. So it's served cold. Yes. Is it? Okay. Not cold, but it's like more like room temperature. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The 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 crabus that I know tend to be like kind of like just salady, but this one actually uses a vermicelli base. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So show me what you have to do. All right. Okay. So the most important thing of the crabu is your sambal blachan. Okay. So you have to make them fresh. Okay. Right? So sure. we're gonna start with making the sambal blachan. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna to toast the uh, blachan. Okay. So you have you have two types of uh, chilies in the market. There's one more that's very plasticky looking. Okay. Yeah, so the yeah. plasticky looking ones, what's gonna happen? That it's got that raw smell. I do not know whether you right? notice that. I haven't noticed. All right, okay. it's got a very raw smell. One number two, it's got a lot of water. Yeah. So that one uh, yeah. So for krabu, you want it the sambal blachan to be dry okay as much as you can because we're going to add calamansi juice inside okay gotcha all right sure so and this is the variety we mm -hmm. should look for yeah cool. and um and this one when it sticks to your teeth it's not it's not plasticky sure sure i can smell the blachan really yeah. strong like yeah. flavor yeah so you don't actually need to do it a lot mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah okay you can pan fry it no even. oil needed on it just like i just grease the pan so that it doesn't stick <laughs> So I'm just going to use a blender. Sure. So you just break it up like this. Yeah, Are you using all of this? Yes, I'm using all of this. <laughs> well, because I make a large batch and okay. then you can just keep it in the freezer. Okay. will definitely produce a better flavor okay but now these people do not want to do that right sure Um, boil the prawn shell 
mm -hmm. grind it and sure. see if it get even better. Yeah, yeah. That's the best. Sure. Can you just use normal lime? Yeah, you can, but the fragrance okay. would be different. So I've cut it into halves like that. Okay. And I'm just going to You're using it. a sieve to catch the yeah. seeds. Yeah. So you use a lot. Yeah, you use a lot. Calamansi is almost like a cross between orange and uh, lime. Mm -hmm. This has got that more rounded flavor. Yeah, it's not that sharp. Yeah. Like tangy kind. Yeah. This one, if you're cooking laksa, do not throw it away. Okay. Because now it's so expensive, right? Sure. So I normally cut this and throw in the laksa bar. Okay, nice. Okay. Sure. Prabhu, you need it all fresh. Okay. Somehow rather... I know you... in Australia, you can now buy dried um, kantan, but that's not going to be useful for this dish. Yeah. Once it's... Dehydrated. dehydrated. Somehow <laughs> the, the fragrance <laughs> is not, not the there, not the same. Yeah. Coriander leaves. So coriander leaves. One this. Just one this. many people with this this amount. is 250 grams sure um probably three packs or okay, four packs sure. depending on how big sure, the, sure. Their, their appetite is okay. so all right so water water is boiling okay so we're going to So the broth, I'm not okay. going to put all the broth in because I want more calamansi, so sure. all of the calamansi. Okay. Sambal dajan. Okay. Sambal dajan to this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So add this in. Okay. It's hot. Can you see? It's yeah. Hot. yeah. So you absorb. Can you use Thai shrimp paste if you can't get Malaysian shrimp paste for I'm this? I'm sure you can. Okay. When, when you're overseas. you got to do what you got to do. Yes, you got to do what you got to do. Sure. And then you but Obviously, Malaysian is better. <laughs> and then the peanut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, fascinating. And then just toss it all together. Sure. Now look at the colour. So, it's not supposed to be black. So, it's beautiful. Yeah. So you can see all um, yeah. your crease, you can see your peanut, you can see your right. your uh, coriander and chili. Bunga kantan, which is your wild ginger okay. flower. Yeah. yeah. That's So you can see that the sambal blachan, you can see it looks like it's as though it's like being pounded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we call it rabo bihun. Oh, beautiful. Please. 
and peanut. And then we got your crabble bee home. Oh, that looks amazing. Thank you so much, Debbie. You're most welcome. I hope Another you masterpiece. Like it. Oh, I'm sure we will. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Baru 13 Tapi tinggi Tolo dan ni dia Tak tahu lah dia ikut siapa Cili dalam lagi So dia cek baru campur Baru campur mix ready That one you frying the chicken with what? Flour eh? Flour That kind of flour Oh, it's flour Only corn flour and this is for the ayam chili garam. Ayam chili garam dah. Dah. Bantai. Dah. Saya dah pun dah pun dah. Bantai. Bantai. Ini memang kurang nak. Ini sedikit. Ah, dah muka. Ah, panjang. They just tinggal the. Masak yoga, masak apa? Yeah, now I do for budak budak punya. Is that just chili or chili bawang, bawang? Yeah, bawang putih and bawang just bawang merah. Bawang merah, okay, sure. Chili, fresh chili lah, sure. Simple only this one. It's very nice. Good lah, sabar sabar kok. How are you? Hi, Chef Rene. How are I'm you? Good. Welcome home to Malaysia from Dubai. Most of the same to Yes, you. thank you very much. We get Happy a chance to be, to be together. See? Yes, finally. Not on yeah, Zoom. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so, tell me what we have today to share with everyone. Okay. I want to share with everyone our sambal. Dry okay. paste sambal. Okay. And it's so simple. It's just an instant sambal. Because normally, I remember we were making with... Um, Someone earlier, the Jackie, Street Food Journey, the cooking sambal for the um, for our nasi lemak. So this one is an easy one, instant. You can find anywhere normally. I just show to our audience what are we going to, how I use it, right? Wow. How easy to be in Budapest? Yeah, yeah. Not that easy, you know. Mm. That's, I mean, we we live way away from home, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, these yeah. are all home food, comfort yeah. food that we yes. always know. Yeah, uh, yeah. All the time we have it. You know, and people would like to try and do it. Exactly. And then okay. you have something more convenient yes. and accessible for everyone, right? Yeah. Okay, I heat up this yeah. already. All right. Okay. This is the spices I'm going to use. Okay. We're in powder form. So everything is in powder. Yep. Uh, so you process it, everything dry. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. So you just rehydrate it with some water? Uh, I wouldn't say I re rehydrated. It's not yeah. a rehydrated uh, paste. But this base is already actually cooked already. Ah, okay, okay. So okay. I'm gonna add water because I don't want it to be, um, you know, uh, turn brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There you go. Wow. Even. Yep. You can smell it, huh? Even now, immediately, it just yeah. all. Yeah, because everything is cooked. Yes, it's cooked already. It's powdered. Yes. So now we just we, yeah, rehydrate them yeah. with water. And then now you get back all these fresh yeah. flavors back. So the technology that I use for my product, actually it is all cooked together. Okay. Ah, so it's very convenient. You see, yeah, it's, uh, yes, how yes. Yeah, you see it's actually ready. Mm -hmm. Normally, to cheat, 
to cheat eh I add a little bit more water uh, uh, a little oil. bit more oil yeah no, it's, it's not to cheat just to give that color back its color itself yes. and then fry back whatever is already being yep. cooked before yes obviously and then the reviving. look and feel yeah yes. reviving reviving yeah. yes yes sometimes so. it's like that because you want to have see when you look at sambal mm -hmm. you have the oil on the top that glaze color and yes. size it's yes. just to, to bring back bring back yeah yeah yeah, yeah. otherwise it looks very pale isn't it correct yeah you know actually this is actually ready i'm gonna put this uh prawns prawns yeah. so any suggestions like for yourself what size of prawn that you normally normally for this? normally i use medium okay medium yeah yeah this medium not too big, not too small. Yeah. Because if it's too big, not nice lah. Sambal yeah. is nice when you have a sauce more kind. <laughs> Correct. More sauce, yeah. It's just yeah. equally balanced. The size. Yeah. Yes. If it's too big, it, you you don't really get the sambal. Yep. You get yep. more of the prawn. Yes. You lose the flavor. You lose the flavor. Yeah. 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 Too small, then it will mash up, or yeah. you end up, you know, having yes. a nibble or whatever. Not, yep. not really the yep. whole. Yep. 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 Yeah. Now, huh. almost ready. It looks. It looks ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's ready, right? So. I like to add my onion at the end. I like the crack, 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 crack. Okay, you like the, the bite into it, yeah. Yes. That uh, semi, or we call it adante. Adante, adante or yes. It, yeah. Firm to the bite. Betul. That fresh flavor fresh also. Flavor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's a traditional thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's a traditional thing that I like to have it with, uh, with like, like this. Not yeah. not cooking earlier. I don't like it to be like soft and salty. Yeah. Uh, it looks also on the plate. Yeah, it's also a fresh ingredient to yep. add on on it. Yeah, you know what anti aging? Ah, eh? yeah, it's ah. an antioxidant. Exactly, yeah. it's very important. Onion, yeah. Can do you like your sambal? Um, more extra onions. No, no, sweet, sweet. Oh, um, how do you like your just sambal? medium. I like it just equally on the salt. Mm -hmm. Uh, equal on the sour and sweet. Mm. Equal, not okay. too sweet. Yeah. So that's the story of sambal, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Now it's ready. Ah. Wanna try some? Yeah, sure, sure. Because the the only Please. thing missing is obviously the, the green from the petai. Yeah, there's no petai. Yeah, yeah. yeah lah. Oh. How is it? Is Just it as if like if you don't tell me, uh, technically, if you cook and then you blindfolded me, it's like Re it summer? tastes as if yeah. yeah the sambal yes. itself, yeah. So I choose the right one. I choose I chose the the right the uh, 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 paste for my sambal, correct, the instant correct, paste. Right. Yeah. You yeah, see? It's, it's quite interesting if if you just throw in um, lime leaf. Yes. Right. Cafe leaf. Yes. Yeah. Lime leaf. Yes. Yes. Can it gives the uh, the fragrance. Yeah. Correct. So a little bit like more of the uh, Kelantan yeah, yeah, side yeah. of the, 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 the sambal. East Coast side. Yes, the East Coast okay. side. Okay. So yes. they put cafe leaf in there. Yeah. They break some lime okay, leaf. The lime leaf. Okay. Throw it in. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's new to me. <laughs> Something new I learned from you. Well. So you like my sambal? I do, chef? I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Most welcome. Showing you how to cook my oh. instant sambal to miss udang. Yeah, it's it's obviously convenient. Okay. And it's yes. easy to, to travel with. Exactly. Bring it to Dubai, okay? Yeah, sure, definitely. <laughs> it's something even everyone's needed. It, yeah. Because sambal is our Malaysian favorite condiment. Yes. So you can use everything, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Any Malaysian's what? favorite condiment? Yeah. I like it as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thank you very much, Ebene. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so Yen, um, you're making a curry. Is that a chicken curry or just a curry sauce? Curry kapitan. Curry kapitan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like Penang, like is famous for the, the nyonya curry, yeah, stuff. Yeah. So is kapitan like, a nyonya dish or? Uh, it's actually yes. Okay. So created by a Chinese cook in sure. Malaysia. Sure, sure. Okay, cool. Okay, so what sort of ingredients are you going to be using? Uh, I'll be using onions, okay. shallots, garlic, ginger. Okay. And then uh, a bit of curry leaves. Okay. Sugar. Sure. This is the curry powder and turmeric powder. Okay, so you mix it together. Yes, uh, a bit. And then the uh, soy sauce. Okay. A bit of salt and okay. the dry chili paste. Okay. Is there any seasoning in the dry chili paste no. or it's just straight chili sure. paste? Okay. It looks very bright. Um, now, the onion and the shallots, what's the difference? Why do you use both? 
uh, shallots will give more fragrance. Okay. So it's different kind of fragrance. Sure, sure. Even the onions are very small compared yes, to Australia. Yes. So that's the size that you get here, Correct. yeah? And then you blended it. Yeah, like so this. Uh, to save time, I've blended it. So okay. this kind of portion, so okay. it will come up in this. Sure. Part. Great, great. The um, what do you use to blend it? Do you use, use I, a food? Add, I add in oil to blend. Okay. I don't use water. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. And that's just regular potatoes. Yeah, yeah. so but I provide the potato with salted water. Okay, okay, so, great. So you will get more tender when you are cooking. Okay, sure. Okay. Then the aroma. I'll add in the onion. I can smell the, uh, the bay leaf quite strongly actually. Yeah. Are there lots of different versions of Kapitan curry in Chennai, or is there just kind of... In Chennai, uh, actually I have heard of this story about this curry Kapitan. Yeah. So there was a story saying that uh, uh, captain, yeah. uh, during the colonial times, a captain came to Chennai, and then the, he was asking the cook the, what was prepared for dinner. Okay. And the cook actually prepared this, this dish by the name of curry. Yeah. So he, he said it as curry, yeah. curry, kapitan, because of the pronunciations sure. of captain. Sure, sure. So the captain actually missed the word yeah, <laughs> <it was>, curry <laughs> kapitan. So oh, this is how right. the name came out. But it was just a mystery. It was a mystery, sir. Yeah? Okay. So we don't know the or, uh, exact origin of sure, the curry sure, kapitan. Okay. Okay, so first you gotta fry up the spice paste. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So heat up the heat up the wok with oil. Sure. Okay. I like how soft the uh, paste is. How fine it is. Oh, it smells beautiful actually. Do you just use a blender to blend it with? Yes, correct. Okay. So, I'll add in the dry chili paste. Sure. So you don't have to add that much oil because it's already got yes, oil in the correct. pan. Yeah. So, I'll add in some some of this uh, soy sauce. Okay. Okay. Add in the oil. Yes. So when it is almost done, I will add a little of little bit of sugar. Sure. So you very nice color. Yeah. So when I can see the oil, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do is I will yeah, see that's what they mean by oil Yeah, the yeah. oil. Yeah. Now I know. Okay. You get different kind, uh, different types of uh, aroma. Do you use coconut milk with this curry? Yes. Okay. Uh, if, I mean, some, some people, they can't take coconut oil, uh, coconut milk. Yeah. So we can replace with carnation, carnation milk. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is... Uh, yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So, and uh, the soy sauce can go in. So usually you make the curry paste and then you can put it, you make them in batches and yes, put it away yeah, and then you can fry the other stuff and then add. So I, I don't keep it more than two weeks. So what okay. I do is, yeah, I sure. cook the paste, the spice paste. Sure. Then I'll keep it. Sure. Okay. So I'll just put it in the oven and then I'll put the other stuff in there. some water. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, smells great. <laughs> one chicken is just about uh, the size, half of the size. Okay. It's done. That's great. 